you know, our goal for this year is to have the lodge up and running 24-7. Yep, we're gonna put in a 3D archery range, a rifle range, clay pigeon, a trap. We have you guys come up during the summer, during the off season, whenever they want to come up. Everything's bigger than Texas. On the test. To the, the test dummy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got another one for the wall. Hi folks, welcome to this week's episode of Huntsman's Cree TV. Got a great show for you. It's also our last show of this season. We're in Texas doing some whitetail hunts, me and Bubba. Yes sir. Yeah, our very first trip to Texas this past December, well, the week before Christmas. Yep. And uh, it was an awesome trip. It was. I mean. We got down there perfect. The, the bucks were just starting to rut down there. Yep. And what a great hunt. It was, yeah, it was on. I mean, it ain't. We've been a lot of places, but that's probably one of the fa my favorite places I've ever been for is whitetail hunting. I'd have to agree with you on that, too. It was yeah. a blast. I can't wait. We're going to go back. Yeah. So we packed up here and got all everything ready and left out of here one morning about 6 o'clock, thinking we're going to get there in 15 hours. <laughs> yeah. It was like 20 hours later. 20 hours later, and Tony slept 18 of the 20 hours. <laughs> it went by really fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We get into uh, the hotel that night, yep. get checked in. We're going to meet our guides the very next evening, go on our first hunt. We get all set up and blind. What did we see? Two does and a four-pointer? Yeah. That evening? Yep. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> South Texas didn't start off real good, did it? We did pretty good this year. You know, we reached most of our goals. Yep. We got the lodge going, which is gonna be done pretty soon. Yeah, a couple weeks, it's gonna be completely done. Yep. Yep. Um, we got 30. 30 or 31. Either uh, vets or disabled and kids. and kids. You know, next year, we're hoping to double those numbers. Yeah. When we travel around and, and talk to the outfitters and see whether we can or we can't take people. And that's one of the big things we wanna do is to just bring them here is to take them just to, like to Canada or to Texas or just wherever, Tennessee. And we've got a lot of outfitters that wants to work with us or we've got a lot of individual people yeah. that we've met yep. that's willing to work with us and set up a vet hunt or a kid hunt. Yep. So we're gonna do what we can to, I mean, we're gonna do a lot of hunting here, but right. we also do hunts other places. Other places. Other states, other animals. Yep. yep. Plus we're getting into fishing now. Yep. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna start doing a lot of fishing. was in full swing, I mean. Bucks were cruising. Everywhere, I mean, yeah. I mean, they, they was traveling. Yep. Like, like he told us, that's the deer we was looking for yesterday evening. He said, we ain't ever even seen him over here. And when he came out, I was like, oh, he's going home with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was a nice deer. Ready, go 
skill. Go over there and get my hands on them. Yeah. Mom, I got another one for the wall. Huntsman's Free TV is proudly brought to you by the Huntsman's Foundation, inspiring and enabling disabled veterans and children to get into the great outdoors. Trackmaster MK1X, where will you go today? Carlson's Choke Tubes, the shooter's choice. Tundra Tour, North American hunting and fishing adventures. Cook's Fatal Attraction Deer Scent and ultimate whitetail mineral and flavored attractant. This segment of Huntsman's Cree TV is brought to you by Trackmaster MK1X. Where will you go today? Well, folks, we're in South Texas. This is my guide, Austin. We're on the Long Ranch, and uh, look at what we got here. Beautiful South Texas buck. Perfect heart shot on this buck right here. Thank you. Yeah, he didn't go far. We watched him, mm -hmm. watched him fall. About 50, 60 yards, and he curled up. Oh, well, Huck, this is my first time in South Texas. I'll be back next year. Yes, sir. <laughs> Glad to have you out. Thank you. You know, after you killed your deer that morning, we switched around. It's my turn to hunt. Yep. You run the camera. I hit the record button this time. You did. I, I agree. <laughs> and we actually seen a big deer that afternoon, a big 10 pointer. You know, our goal for this year is to have the lodge up and running 24-7. Yep, we're gonna put in a 3D archery range, a rifle range, clay pigeons or trap. They have some guys come up during the summer, during the off season, whenever they want to come up. Yep. They got a place to stay. They could shoot on the archery 3D range. We got the gun range. We got the trap range. Yep. Yeah, they'll get out and ride around the track master chair. Like I said, just whatever. Yeah, the plan is, to where we can have it open 24 7 52 weeks a year or as, as much as we can hunting yeah it's a big part of what we're doing but it's not all like that you said fishing right they come fishing in the spring fishing in the summer yep that or shoot archery just whatever but that's our plan to try to get it to where we can get people in here 52 weeks of the year yeah whether they're hunting or not maybe just a group want to come in and try out the chairs and ride the trails right or a group come in want to go fishing or just whatever group come in want to shoot archery yep we're going to try to have it all set up to where that's what we can do Even if we ain't hunting or fishing or whatever, I mean, our goal is to try to get, just say a group of vets. Yep. That's been through the same stuff. They relate to each other. Just get them to come into camp. Yeah. I mean, like I said, they can ride on the chairs in the Trackmaster chair or fish or just hang out. Right. Sit around the fire and hang out. Or little kids. Right. It's been dealt a hand that not everybody can deal with. I mean. Right. Get them in here, get three, four, five, six little kids together that's, that's that can relate to what each other's going through. It's therapy for them. Yeah, it's therapy for them. It is. Yeah, or just get, like ladies. Yeah, we can, me and you can go hunting. Right. But it's, it's hard for us to go with a lady and sit there and understand what they're going through. Right. But if you get four, five, six of them together, 
they got each other around, to talk, talk to. They can talk to each other, yeah. Yep. If they want to fish, they can fish. If they want to hunt, they can hunt. If they don't, then they can do whatever they want to. It's just, it's just getting together and bonding. Right. It, it don't matter really matter what they're doing. Right. I mean, that's the thing. Right. So that, that's, that's where we're trying to go and what we're trying to do. You know, a lot of people have been asking how we stay in shape during the off season. Make sure y'all follow us on Facebook and Instagram if we make it that far. Come on, Bubba, five more miles. Let's go. This segment of Huntsman's Cree TV is brought to you by Ultimate Whitetail Mineral and Attractants. Healthier deer, larger racks. You know, a lot of these hunts that we go on, we actually, we're going on them because we want to hunt. Yeah. But we're going on them too to test the waters, yeah. make sure that they're wheelchair accessible. Um, a lot of people, a lot of places say that they're handicap accessible, yeah. which is good, but they're not wheelchair accessible. There's a big difference. And th uh, there is a big difference. A lot, yeah. So like we've learned through trial and error, going to different places, different outfitters, which ones. Different hotels. Yeah, different hotels, yeah. even hotels. We had a hotel that had a rolling shower on the second floor with no elevator. If you was just, if you was handicapped, you could get up there, you could walk up the steps right. to a certain extent. But if you're chair bound, you're not getting up there. You're not getting up there. It'd be hard to go on a hunt and take somebody that's in a chair with us. And when we get there, I mean, we, we, we find out that we find out we can't take them. Right. So everywhere we go, we know whether we can or we can't go back. I'm um, the test. The, the, the test dummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the test dummy's name on TV that used to crash the car, but that'd be you. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just like us going up into Canada at Buck Paradise Outfitters. Yep. I mean, Grant, he's willing to make everything wheelchair accessible or handicap accessible to where he can take people in chairs and get them up there. A lot of the outfitters that we go to do the same thing. Right. I mean, some of them has run people in chairs, some of them ain't. Right. But once we go there and figure out whether we can do it or we can't, we know whether we can take vets or kids that's in a chair. Right. They're hunting. If not, we'll do something different. But they actually had a big wide, I don't know, 26, 27 inch wide. Something that you see on, we watched on TV our whole life. Right. That, and sure enough, we seen him. And the only time he stopped from cruising looking for does, watched him walk over and get in the pond take a drink and he walked plump straight away from us. <laughs> right out over the pond down and... You know, it was just gonna be me and you going to Texas to start off with. Yeah. But then Wes, my brother, he decided he wanted to go. When he found out we were going to, Texas. Was going to Texas. He was, he was all for it. <laughs> so him and Shane both went. Yep. Another good friend of ours. Good God. Shane, look at that's, that's, that's stickers. He actually, him and Shane actually seen one of the biggest deer that was on the ranch. Yep. I mean, they, they, he was a monster. But he was off limits too. He was off limits. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He was a breeder <laughs> buck. He wasn't. They, they didn't want him. That's the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life. You should see the 14 point next. This big dog. Everything bigger in Texas, like <laughs> everything, trust me. Big Amazing. bug down. Amazing little place. That it is. I like that Tyler. That's awesome. Thanks, brother. Yeah, congratulations. I 
Thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity. Shaking a little bit? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got 200 plus inch deer in front of you, you can shake a little. It's a wide deer. That's a beauty. Stinky little head on it. Tickle to death. That's right. Mr. Tall Lamb. Got hooked me done. up. Hooked me up good. Appreciate it very much. Well, I said he ended up killing a good deer while he was there. He did. He shot yeah. a beautiful buck. The deer he actually killed had been bit by a rattlesnake. Yeah. Yeah, right on yeah. his side, right on his ear right here. I remember that. Yeah, and the whole side of his ear was swelled up, but he, he ended up killing a good deer he did. while he was there. Huntsman's Cree TV is proudly brought to you by the Huntsman's Foundation, inspiring and enabling disabled Americans to get into the great outdoors. Trackmaster MK1X, where will you go today? Carlson's Choke Tubes, the shooter's choice. Tundra Tour, North American hunting and fishing adventures. Cook's Fatal Attraction Deer Scent. And Ultimate Whitetail Mineral and Flavored Attractant. This segment brought to you by Cook's Fatal Attraction Deer Scent. 100% pure, fresh whitetail deer scents. Well, it's our last afternoon here in South Texas. We'll be hunting a long range. And uh, we've seen a lot of big deer in the last two days. Last two and a half days. Tony, he killed a big deer yesterday morning. We're hunting the same blind this afternoon as we've hunted the past couple of days. And uh, we had one of the big shooters come in yesterday evening, but it was right at dark. Here's about how the camera light. Hopefully we can get a big one on the ground this afternoon. So y'all stick with us. And then it wasn't long. It was actually the twin of the deer you killed. Yeah. Except yours had a mule deer fork on one side, mine had a mule deer fork on the other. The other side, yep. yeah. He come out. They said he was, I don't know, six and a half, seven year old, what they said. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 No, it's just you're huge. <laughs> is that what it is? I'm just big. Congratulations on that book. Yeah, boy. Pretty. Sure. We appreciate what y'all have done for us the last two days. Yes, sir, it's been a great time having y'all out. Well, we've had a, fun, had a ball here hunting with y'all. We appreciate it. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hopefully y'all come back out next year. It'll happen. Tony stick on with the bow. From all of us here at Huntsman's Creek TV, thank you for watching. And congratulations, Bubba, on your beautiful Texas buck. Yeah, I'd like to congratulate you, too, for hitting the record button on the very last animal 
The very last episode. The very last episode that we actually harvested. You hit the record button for once. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it took you all year. Well, I don't even know what now. to say about that. Two years. <laughs> two years it, it took. I don't <laughs> even know what to say about yeah, that. Yeah. But uh, we've made a lot of friends over this past year and uh, look forward to making a lot more. I mean, they're actually more than friends. We're just like family now. I yeah. mean, every one of them. Yep. So uh, we look forward to going into 2021 with the foundation and the show. And uh, bring it twice as many hunts. Yes, sir. We're hoping, yeah. We're hoping to bring you hunts here on the foundation property and other states. Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. Or just getting back out in the outdoors and enjoying it. Yep. I mean, I'm excited. Yeah. I can't wait to see what it brings. So from all of us here at the Huntsman's Foundation, see ya. In 2021. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by the Huntsman's Foundation. Turning your donations into adventures for disabled Americans one at a time. Wait, is my mic on? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're supposed to say <laughs> <laughs> You got it. Huh? You got it. What was I supposed to say, Lee? <laughs>